Of every major sport here in Denver, including the Glendale Raptors Rugby Club. They've won 10 in a row this spring season and six Raptors named to the Eagles, the U.S. national team, including Will McGee, a player with a deep, dark past. A story you'll only see on Denver 7. Allison Masterangelo discovered Will did some crazy things before he became a professional rugby player involving hair. Ooh. Here's Allison with an Xfinity Sports Extra exclusive. As you watch the Glendale Raptors practice inside Infinity Park, you might notice strong athletic men getting ready for physical rugby games. So it's really how fast flowing it is, and it's non-stop. But you might not notice this about one of the tough guys out on the field. Back in England, I was working at L'Oreal uh, in the marketing department there, so it's quite, quite a contrast from bashing around with these guys. Yes, you heard Will McGee right. He spent more than a year working for L'Oreal in the hair department, working mostly with shampoos and conditioners. And last year, when he first came over to play for the pro side, he did bring a whole bunch of L'Oreal products uh, for the guys, and uh, so that was, the boys love that, and, uh, and he keeps on giving them tips. But as a rugby player, his coach describes him as... He's a good kicker of the ball. Uh, he thinks he's a bit bigger than he actually is. We call him the unit. He's got little pencils as legs, which is probably my issue because I'm the strength coach as well. Um, but yeah, he's got pretty good hair, they think, and he's, uh, he's quite good with the ladies, they say. However, as a team hair stylist... Uh, he tries to, uh, but there's not much going on with this thing up top, so uh, hence why the hat, the hat stays on. Do you think it makes you an overall better rugby player if you have good hair? I, I like to think that if you look good, you're probably going to play a bit better, so I try and try and keep it in shape, yeah. <laughs> so even though Will worked in the marketing side of L'Oreal, I had to put his hair product knowledge and skills to the test, dragging along one of his teammates to join me. Should I be, like, nervous or should we be nervous if he's going to give us tips then on our hair? Um, just take it with a pinch of salt, I guess. <laughs> and, of course, I made him go first. A nice, let's see, fresh haircut. A bit sweaty, but we're all right here. A messy look there. Very one direction. Very one direction, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it does. It looks good, though. Yeah. Quick and easy. Put a little bit more in my hair. In, you know, give you a bit of volume, a bit of texture, you know. <laughs> does it, it smells good, but do, do we... It does look better. <laughs> 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 what the? I'm not sure what he did. Maybe rugby is, yeah, is for you. Good. Maybe not being my personal hairstylist. Too long what? It's like a rat's nest. <laughs> oh, a rat's nest. Is that good? Like the kids today say, oh, sweet, you got a rat's nest on your head. Looks good. Uh, we believe Allison Sayer has returned to normal, but uh, we're checking on that. Hey, the Raptors, get out there and check them out. Final spring game is June 2nd at Infinity Park. Then they'll be back later in August for the fall season.